Welcome. In front of me is a Sony Xperia 1 and today I'll show you how to transfer files from your device to an SD card and vice versa. So to get started we will need to open up the files app which can be found right here. And in here start off by tapping on three dots and selecting where I have let me just show how it's supposed to look. So by starting off by showing internal storage. So when you tap on this, it will give you the internal storage right on the panel right here. Before it would not be visible. So now that it's visible, you can tap on it and it shows the structure of the device in turn well in a way of folders. So just a quick uh, tip. Videos, photos, captured with the device will always be located under the DCIM folder, as you can see right here. And that's the Camera Pro and Projects. Now, it's a little bit more convoluted when it comes down to the, uh, the Pro app for recording. But if I were to quickly capture, snap a couple of photos right here uh, and go back, you will see that now I have the two photos just simply right here. Um, then downloads folder will con uh, contain anything that you have downloaded using either your web browser or uh, email. So that would be either documents, photos, uh, videos, music, whatever it is, it will always be in the downloads folder as long as it was downloaded. Um, then movies and music will contain files that, well, you placed uh, usually yourself in there. So you probably know that they're located there. And pictures contains most of the time screenshots so that being said uh, that you know majority of the locations of different files you can begin to find yourself all ar around this um, entire folder structure here and also um, these files for instance photos like from the dcim folder can also be found on an sd card so you will see that the sd card also has basically the exact same uh, folder structure and the difference is this this place is empty there's nothing on here right now the device is, looks like by default sa saving to itself rather than the sd card so let's start off by opening up the photos that i will use as a as an example so i have those two photos right here and you want to number one select them so you select them by holding one and then you can see that it has a check mark you can feel when it's actually being selected but because the device gives you a vibration and then you can tap on additional ones to add more once you have selected everything that you want you will tap on the three dots and you have two options you have copy to or move to so choose whichever one you want to use uh, while you move the files will be completely removed from where they are right now and moved to the new location. While well, copy will just create additional set of the same files. So you will have duplicates in this case, just in two different locations. So select which one you want. I'm gonna go with move. And from here, it looks like we're not really sure where. So let's go to SD card as a way by tapping on the three, dot, three bars right there. And from here, I can drop it wherever I want. So gonna keep it a little bit organized and go to the DCIM. I'm just not gonna be bothering with creating a folder uh, called camera. So from here, tap on move, or copy, whichever one you chose, and you can see that the files now disappeared from their original place, and they can now be found on the SD card and DCIM. There we go. And the same process works for any kind of file, so that, that'd be either documents, folders itself with all of its contents, um, whatever you select uh, always has the same, same process uh, of moving or copying them. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.